Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor and in this section we're going to tackle the topic of graphing polar equations or, or graphing equations in polar form is another way to say that. Uh, basically we've in this uh, video series we've learned how to graph regular functions on the calculator, we've learned how to graph parametric equations in the last section and here we're going to learn how to graph the polar equations which is when you have a function of theta or a, fun a function of the angle. Uh, so we're going to start where we did the last time. We need to go in the mode menu first and realize that our graph mode is currently set to function. Those are regular old f of x functions. We need to change it to a polar uh, function, polar representation. All right. The other thing to note is that we are currently in radian mode. That means that when we uh, think about our polar equations and how we're, we're, we're when we start tracing them and things like that all of the angles are going to be in terms of radians. So if that bothers you, then you can go ahead and change it to degrees. Um, just something for you to be aware of, okay? Now, when we go into the y equals menu, instead of uh, y1 equals something, y2 equals something, y3 equals something, we have a little different representation. r1 uh, is a function of theta. r2 is a function of theta, so on. So each one of these guys is a different function of theta you can type in. You can graph multiple plots here just like you can graph multiple functions. And so when you type in your expression, um, when you type it in, it has to be a function of theta because that's what a, what a polar equation is. So every independent variable that you type in has to be theta, which is in green on the calculator. So just to kind of recap, when you're doing regular old functions, way back when we first learned how to graph on this calculator, normally you type the uh, x button, f of x. When we did the parametric equations, they were functions of time, so we had to use the t button. Now that we're dealing with polar equations, and they're functions of the angle, we have to use the theta button, so the green angle here. So just for the purposes of illustration, let me go ahead and just type a equation in here. So we could have uh, sine of theta, green, and then the theta button. Let me close it out and we can square it. Now you can have very, very complicated polar equations. That's fine. For right now I'm just going to type mine as sine squared of theta. I'm just going to have one of these guys. All right. And by and large, your knowledge of how to plot on this calculator that we have obtained earlier in the course is basically going to translate directly into what we're doing here. So all of the different you know, general ideas about the, the, the graphing menu, um, the plot styles, things like that, they're all going to carry over from what we've learned before. So right now we're going to kind of go in with a laser focus into these the, the, the things that make the polar representation a little bit unique. 